The first railroad in the Black Hills was a narrow gauge railway built in 1879 to haul ore and supplies locally for the Homestake Mining Company. A five-ton locomotive dubbed the J.B. Hagen was purchased. It would haul ore in and around lead on a 22-inch narrow gauge track. Of course, if there's no railroads into the area, well, how's the way it's going to get here? The bull train. So they freighted it across from Bismarck to Deadwood and into Lead in the summer of 1879. Daunting task when you're freighting anything or going cross country. Think about hauling a multi-ton locomotive across. Of course, it was disassembled, but um, once they got to the um, uh, new trackage that they built for it in Lead, it was a sensation of the hills. There was simply too much opportunity in the Black Hills for the major railroads to ignore. The first standard gauge railroad reached the Black Hills in 1885, a trunk line running through Nebraska to Buffalo Gap and then Rapid City. It would take another five years for the railroads to actually get into the hills. The first one that came into the hills uh, was the Fremont Elkhorn and Missouri Valley Railroad, which built up the eastern slope of the hills uh, through Rapid City and up to Whitewood and then in and on to Deadwood in 1890. The one that came right up the spine of the hills in uh, 1889 and 1890 was the Grand Island in Wyoming Central. It was a, a, a predecessor of the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy. And they're the ones that really got involved with the home stake and eventually took over those operations for the, um, for the narrow gauges. It was an amazing um, a grouping of trackage in the northern hills. Uh, it was just like if you look at a bowl of spaghetti or something, and that's the tracks were just going in every direction. A photograph taken in Lead in the 1890s captures both the ingenuity and the energy of Black Hills railroads in their prime. The top level was the mining line that went from mill to mine. Then the center level was the Elkhorn, later the Chicago Northwestern, that hauled both freight and passengers between Lead and Deadwood. And then the bottom level was the Deadwood Central, later another um, subsidiary of the Burlington Railroad that started out as steam locomotives hauling the passengers and uh, freight. But then they converted it in 1902 to electric trolleys. And that was basically an interurban system of trolley and interurban service uh, for passengers in the Black Hills.